A music festival turned into a nightmare as the terrorists killed or kidnapped anyone they could find. Joining us now is one of the survivors from that music festival, Milet mm -hmm. Benheim, to talk more about this. Um, Milet, thanks for joining us. Um, we appreciate it. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Um, it's a difficult question. It's, it's really hard, honestly. What is it like to even see some of those images that I just showed reminding of you, you of what happened a week ago? Honestly, I see it on my mind the whole time. So uh, nothing, it's the same. Can you tell me what happened? Um, yeah, of course. Um, we went to the festival, we had fun uh, dancing. Then um, at 6.30, the music stopped and rockets started covering the sky. Um, we didn't have shelter, so uh, we laid on the ground and started running. Everybody was really shocked. Uh, we decided that it's best for us to get in the car and drive away. Um, everybody was so helpless um, and scared. We started driving. We went one way, but uh, we hit um, so many terrorists shooting at us. So we had to make a very quick U-turn, but. The other way, we we had more terrorists uh, shooting at us. So we ditched the car, started running towards the fields. This is what you can see on the screen right now. Um, mm -hmm. Just running like crazy, but they were everywhere on cars and motorcycles and coming from the air, uh, shooting at us from, from every single direction. Did you lose friends? Um, yeah. We saw so many people falling down. I think everybody who went to this party lost friends, few of them. Uh, and, and people that we even just met the same night and became friends with, videos that you have with people you dance with and you know that they are gone now, either kidnapped or, or dead. You talk about having to crouch in the bushes, um, holding hands with your friends and praying. Yeah. Yeah, after three hours of running everywhere, we we didn't have any more power, and we realized we have to uh, to hide because they're surrounding us. And so uh, we got under this uh, low tree, covered ourselves with leaves. Um, we kept hearing the shooting and the the rockets above us the whole time. Uh, kept hearing the Hamas um, talking to each other in Arabic and. Um, hurting our friends, and we just prayed that they're not going to get to us. We couldn't help anyone. When you realized that you had survived, what went through your mind? I think we were all shocked. I was just... My heart was um, still uh, full with fear and love, and I'm just... I'm, I'm so grateful I get to to hug my family uh, and friends, and I'm devastated because I know this is not the fate that a lot of my friends had. Um, this is, it's terrible. It's not, we can't really be happy, honestly. Will life ever go back to normal for you? We all feel like we were reborn like we're leaving a week, people are asking me, um, like, who am I, what am I doing? Every time I go to see like a, a shrink or whatever this past week, and I'm like, I, I, I don't know who I am anymore. How come? Because nothing is relevant. I don't know who I am, I can't eat and I can't sleep and I can't stop crying and having panic attacks and I can't stop seeing what I've seen and hearing what I heard. What do you want the world to know? That we are fighting for our lives and that we are doing our best and that there is so many fake news and misinformation and Israel is being showed now as this cruel, brutal army that is just killing innocent people, but honestly, it wasn't a war, they just 
attacked us out of nowhere and we're trying to defend ourselves right now. We are not uh, occupying Gaza. We gave it back years ago because we wanted to welcome peace and we're just we're just devastated and we need the world to support us.